Hello everyone. Uh, we will see some more examples related to the DFA. Uh, let's say that language is given as the W such that W is element of 0, 1 star. And W contains only zeros or ones. It means that our language is given zeros and ones. Hai. So let's say language set we have So it will contain 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And so on and so forth. Any zero length, uh, any length string comprising of zeros only. Similarly, one, 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 and so on and so forth. So this will contain only ones. It means the any string that contains only one of any length. Now, if we make this automata, then we will make the smallest automata. We will try to make it in which there are only zeros and only ones. So let's say this is the Q0 state, which is the start state. And if it accepts zero, so it goes to another state. And if we get more number of the zeros, I'll stay here in this state only. And let's say if I get one initially, I move to another state. If I get more number of the ones, I'll stay here in this state only. So these two states will be the final states. So if this is a Q0 state, I can consider that this is Q1 and this is Q2 state. So I could not have the space uh, to write this. So let's say this is the Q1 state and this is the Q2 state and encircling it from outside. So this becomes a final state. So after getting the zeros, if you get a one, that means this is an invalid string. So you should move to the dead state. So let's say Q3 is a dead state. And at Q2, after getting the ones, if you get a zero, this will also be not acceptable. So this will also be moving to the dead state. In the dead state, if you get a zero or the one, doesn't matter because you already made a mistake by taking one after the zeros or zero after the one. So this will not be acceptable. So this is the DFA for the given language. So I hope you have uh, understood the concept of how to design this DFA. We'll take more examples in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.